Hi everybody, welcome back. We're going to be doing a little bit of winter process art this afternoon. Um, you can choose from a tree scene or you can use white crayon. The technique is called resist. And so we're gonna be putting something on the paper that is gonna resist the paint and make another image. So there's the tree. Here I used white crayon to resist the paint, um, or you could do a combination of both. So to start with, I used printer paper. You could probably use, uh, if you have cardstock, that would work well. Um, if you actually have watercolor paper, that would be a good choice too. And I'm going to use masking tape. I used a big strip right here to make like the tree trunk. And then after that, I tore off strips of tape. Show you how I did it. And I tore them vertically or lengthwise. And they come out kind of triangular. And that is perfect because that's going to make the branches for our tree. So I'm going to stick those on here. This one I still might tear a little bit from this angle. And when you get these little triangles, you can stick them on your tree however you want. At school, we do what is called process art. The process is really what you focus on, not so much the product. So if your child is sticking tape branches on their tree and you're not quite happy with how they put them, you know what, just leave them there. Just leave them there and because it's something that is going to have meaning to them. So there is where I put all my tape pieces. They've been kind of ripped into little triangles and now I am ready to paint. I am just using just regular watercolor paints. These are ones we had left over from when our kids were in school doing watercolor stuff. And so I'm gonna use a good amount of water Move this over so you can see. And then I'm just gonna brush it over, brush it over the tape. Now I'm gonna use wintry colors. And since our class has been very interested in color mixing, I'm just gonna put my colors one right over the other. So I put some blue on there now I'm gonna mix some purple into it so I can see the purple and the blue and what they look like when they mix. I'm gonna add a little red up on top of the purple. What's nice about watercolors is if you decide you want a more subtle color, you can just paint water over it and it lightens it up a little bit. Let's see, I'm gonna add a little purple to the bottom too. So there's not really a right or wrong way to do it. You just want to fill in your paper really good. I'll tell you, when the kids paint, they like to go over and over and over and over in one spot. And so we always remind them to look for places where the paper is white. Otherwise, you don't want them to make a hole in the paper where they keep painting and painting in the same spot. So I'm going to look for my white pieces over here. I think I'm gonna even add some purple down here. And again, you can color mix. You can put the colors right over on top of each other. The kids will love doing that and seeing how the colors change. I'm even gonna put a little green on the ends because green is the best color, in my opinion. So there you go, I've got my whole page just about filled up. Now, if you want to take a look at when I did mine, I have these little, almost like little snowflake things. The way I did that is I just took regular table salt. I put a little bit in my hand and just kind of sprinkled it over the pictures. And what that does, that attracts the water and the paint to those particular spots and makes that cool little textury thing. So I'm just kind of sprinkling 
salt over my wet paint. You have to do it when the paint is wet. I'm gonna sprinkle that over and we are going to let that dry. When it's dry, you pull the tape off and then you have the negative image where the tree is and around that you'll have the color and then the little places where the salt was. Another way to do resist painting, like I said at the beginning, is to use a white crayon and draw, or you could really use any color crayon. What's fun about using the white one is you can't see it until you start painting over it. I even put my name on there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that would be a fun way to do name recognition too, is if you wrote the child's name and had them paint over it, and then all of a sudden it magically appears. So that is our example of process art today. When it's dry, I'm just gonna peel that tape off and then I will have a lovely winter scene. So if you uh, are interested in doing this at home and give it a try, I would love to see what you're able to do. You can post it on class tag. I can't wait to see them. So this will give you a little something to work on this afternoon and hopefully we'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye, have a good afternoon.